Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS borders. So I have provided the same content that we had in one of our previous lectures. So we are going to just go ahead and focus on CSS. We have section and H1 with a class of title and a paragraph with a class of para. And CSS borders, they provide a border above the padding for any element. We know the box model I showed you, right? So we have content, then we have padding, then we have border, and then we have margin. So if you grab the section, and uh, the border, it has three properties, three major properties. The first one is the border style. And you can say you want the border to be solid, to be dashed, to be dotted, to be groove, or whatever. I'm just going to say solid then you need to provide three major things. One, what is the style of the border? Two, what is the color of that border? Three, what is the width of that border? So I'm going to say border, uh, color. What is the color? I'm going to say black. And what is the um, width of the, the border? This is the width. I, I, I know this is not pronounced as width. It's a little bit different, but I cannot pronounce it that way, so I'm just going to say width. And I'm going to say two pixels. If you save it, there you go. So you got border around the, it's outside the padding. Border is always outside the padding. We can take a look at that. But it is inside the, uh, uh, the margin. So you can see this is the content. This is the padding. If I add some padding of, let's say, 10 pixels, then uh, let's just save that. Let's refresh the page. Let's come down. Let me just select this section, select it, there we go. So you can see, this is the content. So the content is 664 pixels width by 101.425 height. The padding on all four sides is 10 pixels. The border on all four sides is two pixels, but the margin is zero, right? We do have a shorthand property for border as well. Shorthand refers to whenever you have like a property which is spread out into many different CSS declarations, you can combine it into one CSS declaration. That is called a shorthand. So instead of writing border style, border color, border width, you just say border and then all these three values are going to be within one CSS declaration. So you say border width, border. The order doesn't really matter. So if you say first the border style, then you specify the color, then the width, or you say color with style with color style doesn't really matter. So you could you could go either way. So I'm going to say first the size. I'm going to say 10 pixels. The style I'm going to say dotted, and the color I'm going to say green. And if I save it, this is how what the border is going to look like. And again, the order doesn't really matter. So if I say um, indigo uh, the the color dashed the style and 50, let's say uh, three pixels the width and this is the border that we are going to get that's it for this lecture see you in the next one